my name is pavan so today we are going to see about 4k cold head technology in latest mri systems in our last topic we discussed about 10k cold head system and about 10k magnet technology let us take a little small re quick recap on that in 10k cold heads i explained you that the cold head was inclined at 10 degrees this is your cold head i am drawing it this is the first stage of your cold head and this is the second stage of your cold head and take a small color this is the second stage of your cold head and this is the first stage of your cold head and this one is your main cold head and this is all inside the mri so this is 20 kelvin shielding and this is 80 kelvin shielding and a continuous helium gas is going inside helium gas from the compressor a 50 compressor gas is going inside to and fro motion is there and this stage becomes 20 kelvin and this is 80 kelvin and this is achieving the temperature and there is a liquid inside so this was the thing i explained in, in the last class so today we are going to discuss about 4k technology so as i explained in 10k there are two stages similar thing we have but the now the cold heads are not inclined at 10 degrees normally in 4k systems mostly in most of the vendors there may be different different technologies but as a whole theoretically i am telling you so this is the cold head this is the first stage this one is the first stage and this one is the second stage okay of the cold head this is the first stage this is the second stage this is the second stage and whatever gas from the compressor this is the compressor f70 compressor f50 compressor f40 compressor many there are different different compressor from different company when the high pressure helium gas enters in the cold head from here i am taking another color so the gas enters here and this is first stage and this is the second stage okay so this area there is a to and fro motion of the gas here inside there is a displacer and a guy was a griffith macmon macmon as per his theory he mentioned that if the gas is getting compressed fully compressed and and relaxed and released the temperature of that gas drastically when the gas is coming here going up and compression and relaxation the temperature of that gas will drastically decrease and this stage acquires 4 kelvin and this stage acquires mostly 40 45 or 50 kelvin this stage okay so now in a better diagram we will see so this is your mri this is your mri system okay there is a, this one is a outer shield outer shield vessel okay so and this is your cold head this is your first stage okay another one is your second stage so this stage is at what temperature i explained you in the last slide so this one is at 50k approximately and this achieves 4k because of that to and fro i explained you because of that to and fro motion of the gas 
compression and relaxation this is your cold head gases are coming and going out from the compressor okay so this this gas makes compression and relaxation so this is at 4k so what happens there is a shield inside mri there is a shield okay so this shielding is this is a shield shield means protecting all the cooling effect and and capturing it and not allowing to go outside so there is a liquid here inside there is a liquid for liquid i am using blue color so for liquid see this is a liquid okay liquid helium liquid helium minus 269 degree centigrade 4 kelvin okay and some gaseous clouds are there see these gaseous clouds okay so this stage is connected with 50 kelvin shielding this is a sh 50 k shield so this one is connected with 50 kelvin shield so this is called 50 kelvin stage and this stage is 4 kelvin stage okay so we will put in a small container small box this one and uh, there is a small capillary here you see capillary this is called cold head capillary so when when the ga these gaseous clouds this uh, helium gas enters in this capillary it interacts with this 4k stage and gets liquefied and and uh, and and uh, starts getting collected here okay so these gas clouds enter in the capillary gets liquefied and come back in the vessel again this is called recondensing so here only one stage of shielding is required whereas i have explained you last time that in 80k magnets you will see in this 80k magnets there were two shieldings 20k shielding and there was one more shielding 80k shielding 80k shielding and then was your cold head this is your cold head okay so one stage was connected with 80 kelvin another stage was connected with 20 kelvin but our the problem but the problem with 10k cold heads were our liquid was 4 kelvin temperature and we were maintaining 20 kelvin stage so definitely the cooling effect will go out and there will be some losses and because this your head is not maintaining 4 kelvin whatever liquid we have the same state we need to maintain here but in the 10k technology this was the loop hole that's why we need to fill helium frequently in 10k systems and uh, in in 4k magnets you will see that this is your cold head okay this is your first stage this is your second stage and this is inside the mri so this is your shielding okay this is a uh, liquid here so whatever gas clouds will be developed it will it will interact with this second second stage of cold head because the second stage achieves 4k this stage achieves 50k so there is this one is remember this one is outer vessel outer just outer vessel okay here only one shielding in 50k 4k magnet this is called 4k magnet 50 kelvin shield not like two shieldings only one shielding one 50 kelvin shielding is there okay and this is a cold head one stage 50 kelvin stage and this is another stage 4 kelvin stage how how this how this temperature comes when the gas enters and 
compression and relaxation takes place and the temperature drastically decreases and this head achieves 4 kelvin so whatever 4 kelvin material we have we have liquid helium that is 4 kelvin when the gas interacts with this 4 kelvin head it gets liquefied and becomes liquid this is called zero boil boil of technology this is 4k technology and uh, i hope i explained these things and uh, if you have any further question please feel free to write in the comment box and you can ask your queries i'll try to answer your questions and thanks for watching my videos thank you